Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pokemon video. Today I got something different. Um, not very different, but pretty different actually, I guess, for what I usually do. Instead of opening up new stuff all the time. Today I guess you can call this my mail video. Or, I don't know what to call this at this point, but uh, I'll just call it my mail video. Because what I got here is, I've got a, two things I got in the mail here. Um, is a card I ordered. Uh, sp as a special, something I just ordered, I haven't even opened up yet. Um, show you what that is in a bit. And what I got here is something my friend sent me is a box of cards they found at their house, found a bunch of old cards, went through them, they sent me what they thought I would like. Um, so that's everything in here. I haven't looked at it, I haven't seen it, I haven't opened up anything about it. They sent me a few pictures, but I don't know exactly what all is in here. And then lastly, or what I'll probably start with, is this right here. It is a small part, small booster box of cards. I say small booster box. It's literally only eight packs here I have. Um, a friend actually went to Japan. Um, and this was my souvenir. <laughs> well, part of the souvenir. He bought a whole booster box of these. He left me the box itself. And then, but he split the packs up between me and some others, so... I got eight packs to open up here. So, you know, I guess, uh, I guess, uh, I'm not even sure what set this is. I believe this is a set some of the cards from um, Astral Radiance came from. Because I said that's primal, not primal, original form Palkia. Um, but if you don't know Japanese sets, these are one of the sets that are... Um, there's only five cards in this pack, like, that's it. I believe, if it's what it used to be, it's more from the back. Um, but it's just cool. I like, I do like Japanese cards, Japanese sets. They are just cool to have and look at. Um, this is interesting. He left it with me. I don't know what the deal was, why he got it. Um, but I'll show you what this is in a little bit. Um, because when I saw the front card, it threw me off what it was. Anyway, Rowlet. Fossil, Licky Tongue, starts with the M, Magenta, Magenta, something, and a Gold Duck. Yes, I will probably not <laughs> say any of these cards right, because I, honestly, there's a lot of Pokemon, I don't remember the name of them, stop my head. Was that Magurnia? Is that what the name of that one was? Um, I could be wrong, but I think the quote-unquote best card you can get from these, if you get something, is one from the back. But like I said, you aren't, in these five card packs, um, you aren't promised anything in them, honestly, from Japan. Like, I don't think you're promised a rare. Like, let me look at this. Yeah, uncommon, uncommon, C, C, C. What's cool about theirs, instead of symbols, it's actually kind of weird. Um, if I can even get this in focus. At the bottom there, you see, it's a C. And like on this gold duck right here, it was a U. So, yeah, like they don't even have like the English versions, they have symbols. But for some reason, this has letters. There's like C U R R R R R R S R. Um, I think that's what they are. There may be something else. Anyway, Bergmite, uh, can't remember, think of you, Koala, Bronzor, Heavy Ball, Shield, or uh, yeah, Shield On. But yeah, like I said, in these little five card packs, you aren't promised anything. Um, but like I said, these did come with a booster box. He opened up some, he gave some to my cousin who opened up some. They had some decent pulls out of them. Um, so maybe, maybe one of mine will have something in it too. Let me zoom in here too. Shellos, Inke, Hisuian, uh, Electrode. I think Magurnia. Hey, we have a Hisuian Decidui hollow. If I could speak. I don't know if I sound weird to y'all or not. I am kind of getting over being sick, so <laughs> if I cough, if I sniffle, if my voice sounds weird, that's where that's coming from. Um, it's like even hearing myself in my ears, I'm muffled at the po this moment, so you know, is what it is. Ursaring, Torkoal, Bakihita, Bronzong, and a Glaceon. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, 
So we have the uh, blip plug, I think, cross stitched. Love disc, Eevee, Energy Lotto, I think. Ooh, this, the Cleavor V Star. So, well, we did get a hit. We did do that. Um, yeah, it's a funny thing. If you look at the bottom here, talk about the things, letters, whatnot. You see it too well. Is it? Yeah, it's a triple R. So I think, I think, I think I could be wrong. I think triple R's are considered ultra rares. And I think if it's a two R, it's a super rare. I think that's what they're called. Uh, we find it funny though that one of, one of the ones my friend got was a a uh, secret rare actually. It's a funny thing for him to get it. He doesn't even collect cards. Uh, Cricket Tot, Togepi, uh, Carpink, Reggie Drago, and Heatran V. Yeah, again. Uh, I say kind of. I don't want to keep going zooming it out, but again, this is a double R on this one. So yeah, R, double R, triple R, and then an SR for secret rares. I don't I think that's all there is as far as this goes. Yep, one from the back. <coughs> right, so we have a Hisui and Sneasel. Uh, Yuxi, I think that's one that one is. Fossil, Regirock, Avalon. So, last pack. It's a, unfortunately, since, like I said, my friends did pull a Secret Rare Grant, I think somebody had. The Secret Rare 4 Art Grant. Probably very unlikely to get another Secret Rare out of this pack, but, I don't know. We've, we've gotten three hits out of eight thing, eight packs that you're not promised any, even a rare in general. So, I'll say I got pretty good deal out of this. Psyduck. Azelf. Dollop, Doppler, is that? I don't remember. Uh, Licky Licky, and yeah, that guy. I believe that's Grant. He got the full art version of this card, so yeah. But, again, <coughs> excuse me, not too bad. Again, eight packs, not promised anything. We did at least get three. I say have V, V Star, and a Hollow. Uh, the cool thing about this, and he dropped, he just left this with me. I didn't even realize it. Um, Look at the front here. This is the Pokemon uh, Pokemon Center Illustration Contest card or cards. There's multiple cards in here. Let me see if I can gently. Okay, well that works. Gently open this up because I believe these are coming to America. Or there's a lottery right now on Pokemon Center where you can get these. I don't know the exact link. Don't ask me. Um, I think. Okay, it looks like it may be all three. Um, it's actually pretty awesome. I didn't, even, I didn't even know he got these. I don't know where he got them from. Uh, like I said, these are coming to America, but you have to go to Pokemon Center to enter some kind of lottery to be chosen to be able to buy them. <laughs> That's the thing. You can't. It's not even that fact that you have to buy them. You have to buy so much, like thirty or forty dollars worth of product on PokemonCenter.com to get them. But anyway, Pokemon Center illustration contest. I mean, it's like Bulbasaur. We have a Growlithe with the Fletch, <coughs> Fletchling on its back, looking adorable with this yawning, and a Red Ninja. Like I said, these are just, they're not hollows, they're not anything special. Well, let me rephrase that. They're not special in the fact that there's any kind of like special, um, uh, what's the word I look for? Like feeling or design to them, but, well, what's the word I look for? Because these are special in design, like, these are promo artworks. Like I said, the only way you're getting this artwork is through this contest. Um, While well, I say that, in English, the only way you're getting them, I believe, is through the lottery. You know, I don't. The lottery's drawn at random. Like I said, at Pokemon Center, if y'all see these cards and y'all like them and y'all think y'all might want them, uh, there's a way y'all can find them. I don't know what it is. Like I said, the Bulbasaur. A Growlithe and a Greninja. But like I said, the special promo artworks exclusive to like this. Alright, so there's that. On to the 
Next one, this is the one this is something I bought personally. You'll see why. Um if it's not obvious at all. I bought this is a I think it's GameStop exclusive. I forget where this one is exclusive to. But it's, it's a Syrian Typhlosion that is stamped with Astro Radiance. Um, I think this was exclusive to GameStop. But I'm honestly not sure if it was exclusive to GameStop in America or what. Because I do not remember seeing this promoted anywhere in America. But I remember looking it up and it was something about being online or something. Uh, <coughs> excuse me a second, I'll grab water. I forget exactly where. But if you see my channel, you know why I grabbed that card or why I bought it. But I said the main thing for what we're doing right now, try to center my camera here a little bit, is this little box right here. Like I said, my friend sent this. They found a bunch of old cards at their house. I'm honestly not sure how old these cards are. Um, from what I've seen, a few of them are quite a, I say quite a few of them. A few of the ones I've seen are like late 2000s, Diamond and Pearl era. Because I believe like they're stamped. Some of them are stamped. Uh, but anyway, if I can make through without coughing too much. I'm just going to dive in because I say, there's. I'm, I'm honestly excited to see what's in here because I have no idea. I don't know what all is in here or not. All right. See it? Gently. Take this out. I said they just went through it all, picked out what they thought I'd like, and then sent it to me. So it's really nice of them. Really thanks to them. Um, <coughs> yeah, speaking of that, like I said, try to zoom in on these best again. Yeah, a Happeny uh, Diamond and Pearl stamped card. It's from 2007. I mean, like this is. I did, I'm, yeah. An era of cards that I just completely missed. Uh, pretty much most of them up till X and Y. So yeah, Diamond and Pearl era, completely missed them. So it's just, it's really cool just to see these, especially a stamped one. Happy Knee stamp from 2007. I mean, yeah, you know, may not be the best condition, but you know, oh well. It's just really cool to have these. And I'm really excited to see what all is in here. Let's say a yeah, Brock's Mankey. Like, this is from Jim. Jim Heroes, I think, was the set. Was this late 90s, 2000? It's either 99 or 2000 when this card came out. Or this card got, you know, made, released. Just, I don't know. I don't really know what to say, except for we'll just kind of go through and see what we got here. It says Zekrom. Like, I don't know. Is this? It's like it's signed. I don't know if anybody could tell me what a uh, signature was. I have to look this up later. Zekrom. Is that supposed to be like the artist signature or what? I don't know. Is that Ross something? I don't know. If anybody could tell me about this card and it being like a signature put on there, that's. I, yeah, that's different. I've never seen a card with a signature put into it like that. This is cool. Blaziken EX Hollow. From 2006. Wow. Man, that's a good looking card. That is awesome. You know, back, back in the day when they were starting to do CGI, or, yeah, CGI artwork on stuff. Um... But yeah, that's just a really cool looking card. I mean, I can't... That's crazy. Honestly. Alright. We have another stamped card. Unseen Forces Not To. From 2005. Like, I don't think I'm in focus here, but... Kind of hard to see there. Well, kind of skip the light on it. Yeah, a very small stamp there. It's a lot less noticeable than the other ones are, but so that's just really, really cool. I should just grab a whole set of these sleeves out here. Um, 
So I'll probably... Zzz, uh, crap. Probably sleeve up all the hollows and... I don't know, maybe not the rare cards. But I say this is cool. This is... A Centret... Centret? From... How is that... Neo Discovery question mark? Like this is really old. 1996. Holy crap. Like this is the old old. Um like say like this is the modern Japanese set. This is our back. These are the original bags. Like I say from 1996 they got copyright on that. Like this is this is silver and gold era cards from late nineties. I say this is Neo Discovery, I think's what that symbol is, but yeah, Japanese card. Really awesome. This is a this looks like a Pikachu from base set. Like Like there's no symbol on there, so I'm pretty sure this is actually a base base set Pikachu. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what this is. Um like I said, some of these are just old old. Which is awesome. Dark Weezing. That's from 2004. It was... That's... It's a rocket symbol, but it's not the first team rocket set. What set would this be? Uh... Is that... Oh, is this Pop Series 7? Oh... Well, I am, I'm just kind of guessing off the top of my head because I'll say there's only 17 cards in this. There's a Pokeball and a 7 by it. It's from 2008. It's a bit rough shape, but it's still a very cool looking card. And like I say, I could be wrong. I think that it might be Pop Series 7 on that. Um, again, guesstimating on of some of these because a lot of these set symbols are from around here. I do not know. Uh, Apparently, this is a stamped Ghastly from Legend Maker. I've never even heard of that set. Never even heard of it. You. You. Uh, here they. Gotharita. Gotharita. 2011. Now, it's just sorry. Probably start speaking up through these. That's a interesting looking Dialga on that one. 2008. Dialga level X, not even in focus. You, if, like, uh, these old level X cards, we have an Infernape level X here from 2007. You, yep. Known reverse. That was actually a reverse rare. When was this? 2008 as well. Uh, T D P B P. Diamond. What's what error would that be? D P B P. I I have no idea. I'm just going to start kind of going through these a little faster because I'm wasting too much time just thinking. All right, so I have another EX Power Keepers Sharp Sharpedo. I can, yeah, there's a little stamp there. Like, it, it's crazy to me to see a bunch of old cards and then seeing cards that are <coughs> stamped on top of that. This is interesting, too. This one has a gold border. Like, not just a basic, you know... Where I'll try to say regular, uh, like yellow border, like this. It's actually, like I say, it's actually gold shine to it. Unknown. Oop. Another level X tort uh, car from this same one, like the Infernape one, the Torterra. <laughs> the Needle King Hollow with a shattered, ho or, yeah, shattered artwork hollow. From uh, 2010. I'm going to have to look up where these sets are. Or what these set symbols are. 
Look at that. Swellow from Deoxys. Another, I don't, I just, I personally, I just love the stamp ones. I know it's probably getting annoying for me just to keep stopping and staring and reading them. That, that is an interesting, interesting cut for one. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I'll have to look at that. I'll have to look at this one later. Look a bit more. 107 out of 108. That's that's a weird looking card. Dios, Diosion. Why can I not think of the name? Another Torterra. Level X. Minchino Reverse from 2011. Yeah, say Hitmonlee. Have a Lissy. Uh, level 44. Some really cool hollow, like, sparkling on that one. It's very cool. Yep. Yep. Pretty stale. Right. I was like, I don't know why they keep changing things every year. I say we've had level level cards with EX cards. Like I said, we have a Shift Tree EX from 2006. Yep. <coughs> yeah, I really just need to start blasting through this because we have way too much to go. Relicant Reverse, 2009. A Welmer Hollow. Wait, why? Why is this a hollow? I want to figure that out later. I don't know why this would be a hollow. Because it's not a reverse. I might look into some of these later. Let's say Norlax hollow. Makes a bit more sense, but. Yeah. Man Manaphy. Manaphy. Stamped. Energy from 2008. Power. That's an energy with a stamp. That's interesting. 2007. Power Keepers. Energy. Star Ravia. A Curlia from Dragon's Frontier. Like, that's an interesting hollow on that, where it's just Curlia. That's the hollow. A Celio from Power Keepers. Another hollow. Makihita. Um, Eric, mysterious, mischievous, Flareon Hollow. Look at all shy. Magmortar Hollow about to blow you away. The Raichu Hollow with the big old feet. Oh, I might have to. Well, I say when I get done with this, I want to actually go through these later. And Fernate, we have a Heatran Hollow. Uh, Maractus Hollow. 2 out of 12. I wonder what set that would be. Uh, Kranidos Promo from Diamond and Pearl. D Diamond and Pearl Promo 7. Lucario. Looks like this is from a theme deck from back 2007. Oh, well, they know me because they sent me a Typhlosion. Uh, Swoobat. Mantine Reverse. Rampardos. Glamial Hollow. Another promo. Diamond Pearl 23. Black and White Hollow. Duramaka. Diamond and Pearl Piplup. Pidgeot Hollow. That's a very cool looking card. Yeah. Skunk Tank Hollow. Hunchcrow Hollow. Motham Reverse. Tropius Reverse. And the Alga Reverse. And a... Rosalia reverse. Let's try flying through these last bit here. That <coughs> took way too long. You know, that's a cool hollow. Uh, I don't know how much this has actually been in focus here. With the little uh, blinds, I guess, shine lines. I don't know what you call them. The Samurai hollow. 
a Dragonite FB? I have no idea. FB level 50. I have no idea. That is old. That is awesome. That is from Jungle. That is a Kangaskhan Jungle Hollow. Like, what in the world? Like, that is crazy. Uh, Rhyperior Hollow. It's like, they definitely sent me plenty of good cards here. Bidu. Tauros Hollow. Pop Series. Is that Pop Series? I'm about to look this up later. Like, there's Pokeball and there's a two bite right here. It's like that's Pop Series. I cannot think of how to say that off the top of my head. Another Manthe. Hollow looking adorable. Jolteon Hollow. For Pop Series, I'm assuming Pop Series 3. I do like the like bubble hollow on these. You got a Tropius Reverse. Mantike. And lastly, a Palkia Reverse. Palkia level 62. Very, that's an interesting looking card there. Very different looking with the colored pattern on it. That's, I say it's interesting. But anyway, um, like I say, thank you for joining me for, I guess, like I said, for my mail video, I guess. Like I said, for all the awesome stuff my friend sent me and all these cards, classic cards, old cards. Uh, to my friend from who went to Japan, brought me back some cards himself. And then the, the Type Lotion I bought myself. Because <coughs> it was Type Lotion, I had to have it. So, uh, thank you all for joining me. This went a lot longer than I thought it would. Because uh, of my distractedness in getting, looking at things. Um, but anyway, again, thanks to my friend for sending me this. Uh, all these awesome cards. It's like, I'll have to go through these later. As I actually take a deeper look into them. Personally for, you know, whatever my collector's mind does. But anyway, thank you to them. Thank you to my other friends. Thank you all for watching this. Thank you for putting up with me while I'm being... I don't even know how I sound. Probably not great. Not sure if both my cats are now playing, interrupting, or whatever. But anyway, thank you all for watching this. I hope you have a good day night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you all next time.